though. I've got arthritis now in my hands and I have a big problem. In fact, my biggest problem is trying to put uh, hang washing on the line. It's the problem of pain in the joints here and the pushing, <laughs> it's very difficult to do, the pushing to open the peg. That causes me a lot of difficulty. On a bad day, I mean, there are better and bad days. On a bad day, I just, I probably couldn't even put one on. So I just take them inside and um, don't just have to dry them inside. Over time, pegs have become smaller. I wanted to design a peg that could be pushed on, like the old star pegs, but had the closing jaws of the latest pegs. I made a prototype. But something I find very easy to do with my dexterity, Shirley struggled with. Back to the drawing board, with mixed results. You that, know, I'm having trouble. Shirley had been using sprung pegs for so many years that when introduced to a new operating method, her brain still wanted to open the peg in the way it always had. I looked at new designs that built on existing patterns of use but were easier to operate. I could push that finger down. But this design would need a stronger spring to keep clothes on the line if there was a breeze. I looked at ways to keep a very light spring, but maintain grip. The final design locks a very soft rubber path against the fabric. If clothes move, the rubber is displaced, increasing the grip on the clothes without marking them. Again, if it's funny. <laughs> <laughs>